<laughs> so our next story is from the well-known journal of Gondwana Research. Ooh. And uh, in case you don't know what Gondwana is, uh, Gondwana is a massive continent from, oh, about 130 million years ago. And uh, up to it, next to it is Laurasia, yeah. my personal favorite. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and they together um, have moved together and come apart, but you may have heard of Pangaea. Um, Pangaea is made up of Gondwana and Laurasia. So if you didn't know that, that's because you weren't around then, but um, <laughs> that's, what they, uh, that's what the Earth, in fact, used to look like. So um, uh, I usually, usually these things come as a surprise. I happen to see this one, but I left it in there for Laurasia research, because I think there should be a journal for Laurasia research, but uh, anyway. Um, so uh, coming back, these aren't the only massive uh, continents we've had in the past. Uh, there are a whole bunch of others that go a whole lot earlier. Um, but in particular, let's just look at a quick movie of the formation from, of uh, Pangaea from Laurasia and Gondwana and what happened since to bring us to the, the world that we know. This says you look at the time in millions of years in the upper left. And, uh, ooh, that's fast. <laughs> so this is a longer version if you go back even to the time when, uh, when hard-bodied life formed on Earth, you can really see that Earth has gone through a lot of changes. That's the main thing to look at. And it's just kind of fun to see how it all evolved into um, the, uh, the geographical distribution of land masses that we know so well to today. There we go, witness me, because um, he's going to go make the Himalayas. Uh, and then last little one I'm going to show like this, it's not as nice as the others, but it actually goes all the way back, you know, um, uh, 1.5 billion years. So what you're getting from this is that land masses on Earth that move around on these tectonic plates, it's very cool. You might be wondering, well, what's the Earth going to look like into the future? Oh, wait, we still got some more stories. There we go. There's, we're going to come up to Gondwana right in there shortly. There's everybody comes together. So you see they come together, they go apart, they come together, they go apart. And uh, those red ones show the spreading zones in the oceans that finally gave us uh, the world we know. Last one, just because they're so fun to look at, is what's going to happen into the future. So this is an older uh, version, but look, California comes in on the upper right hand, grabs some of Siberia, tugs it back. <laughs> so, um, and then back to a, a big, massive continent like that. So um, the Earth has gone through big changes over such periods of time. Uh, they call this future one Pangaea Ultima, but then realize it's not the ultimate one because it's just the next one, Pangaea Proxima is the better name. So back to the story in Gondwana Research. It's a current uh, story about the reconstruction of a lost continent. And oh my goodness, that almost sounds like a, a <laughs> wonderful movie. These are the uh, scientists who um, <laughs> did the work for Adria, the last continent. And Adria, like Adriatic, is the northern part of uh, the Mediterranean. Um, that is a current day picture of what the geography looks like. But, uh, and there it is, kind of color-coded as geologists love to do with different types of strata and so forth. So this is going to be a quick movie showing you that that colored stuff used to be appended to Africa. And be, then left, Adria became its own continent, said goodbye to Africa through these spreading zones, and then <coughs> went cruising up through uh, what was then an ocean, is now the Mediterranean, and eventually crashes into the old uh, Eurasian continent. And uh, if you want to make sound effects for crashing, that's fine. <laughs> wow, thanks. So that's what built like the Apennines and all those uh, wonderful um, mountain ranges, uh, the spine of Italy and Greece and Turkey and so forth. Um, and so that was a cool result in Gondwana research.